there's a whole lot of things you can do to stick with it. Um, but one of my favorite things to use it for is to kind of get around the tom-toms um, and also to kind of memorize some different useful fill patterns. Um, there's a couple things you've got to do before you're going to be able to really apply this to your drum set. Number one, you've got to be able to successfully count the rhythms. Now, you don't have to be able to play straight through it without any mistakes to, to be able to start working on this, but the, the better you know it on the snare drum, the more successful you're going to be with it on the rest of your drum set. Um, another thing is that the better you understand different sticking options, the easier this will be for you. So without going into too much detail, the, the main ways of sticking this are purely alternating where you always go from the right to the left. For moving around the drums is where you use lead sticking. Um, if, if you don't really know what lead sticking is, yeah, look it up um, or ask me and I'll, I'll go more into detail about it. But with lead sticking, um, it's going to kind of allow you to move from one drum to the next drum to the next drum with the hand that kind of makes sense moving in the direction that you're moving. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier uh, uh, making the trip. So anyways, um, just like with just about everything else, the best way to start with this is to start by including your feet. So I'm going to start at letter B, uh, metronome set at 90 beats per minute, and I'm using lead sticking, and I'm just staying on my snare, snare drum. Make sure you can play all the way to the end, okay? It'll take a while, but start with that. You can also try including your left foot. Um, again, there's a lot of ways of doing this. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep a steady four pattern with my bass drum, and I'm going to play two and four with my, with my left foot. So it'll go like this. I'll pick it up at letter C where I left off. Another way of practicing stick with it is to basically move each count to a different drum. Um, so everything that happens on count one will be on your snare drum. Everything happening on count two will be on your first tom tom. And then you just kind of move around your drums as, as you've got them. If you've got a, a big kit, there's a lot of ways you can uh, kind of slice it up. Um, for my setup, I've only got the two tom toms here. so. I'll play one, two, three, and then again four on the on the four top. So um, letter B will go. Okay, so I will play this with a steady four count on the bass drum, and then playing counts two and four with my left foot on the hi hat. This is. This is 100 beats per minute. stick with it that I haven't really found a real practical application for other than it's just kind of fun um, is I play my right hand on my hi-hat and my left hand on my snare drum so like letter B I don't know if I've ever 
try this alternating. I, I usually do it uh, leading with my right hand so that basically my right hand is almost always playing the eighth notes. Um, anyway, here's a demonstration of that. Um, and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to add my bass drum and I'll probably add a couple of, of little hi-hat sizzles and, and maybe some fills and see what happens. Um, I think we'll start here at 90 beats per minute. Another fun way of practicing stick with it is <clears throat> another fun way of practicing stick with it um, that I like to do. I haven't really found completely practical reason for doing this uh, other than I just kind of like doing it. Um, is I'll take my right hand and play that on my hi hat and play the left hand mostly on the snare drum. Um, I'll use a right hand lead sticking on this so that my right hand kind of keeps a, uh, a steady eighth note pulse. Uh, I'm going to play this a little faster just because it kind of feels a little, a little better at a faster tempo. So I'll start it at 120. I'm also going to kind of keep a steady bass, bass drum pulse um, and I might add a few fills along the way. This is 120 beats per minute. something new there. I've never, <laughs> that's never happened before. Um, so what I did, um, I basically kept my rules the same except when I got to counts two and four, I play those on the snare drum, giving myself a nice strong backbeat. Um, so for instance, here's letter C. One and two and three and four and one and three and modifying anything. Uh, it's not anything different than when I'm playing on the snare drum. Um, so it's pretty cool what you can do with just a really simple rhythm like that.